Welcome back, treasure hunters. This is Russell with JR Treasure Chest. Uh, uh, as you can tell, I'm not at the shop. I'm actually at home. Uh, my daughter's doing the filming for me tonight. We have a ordering of uh, knives and swords. Uh, most of it I did order for the shop, so I do know what it, uh, what it is. But there is over 20 uh, assisted opening pocket knives that are completely random uh, sent from the company. Uh, but this is a grand total of uh, $332 and some change worth of product. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what all is in here, even though I did do the order. Uh, it was a little while and my memory is not that good. So uh, let's uh, open her up and find out what we got. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, of course, we have uh, we had to restock on our uh, pepper spray, very popular item. This is the uh, hard case, uh, black black hard case uh, pepper spray. We have six of them. Uh, constantly ordering them because they are a very popular item. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got a whole selection, so we'll just start going one piece at a time. It looks like uh, this is a uh, five foot handmade leather bull whip. A uh, nice little fun toy. Let's see. All right, this is a five-piece uh, skinning knife set. That's uh, the whole set here. I apologize about the size of the size of the box, but like I said, this is a very large order to the point I might have to split it up into two videos. But. This is a scanning knife set for those uh, hunters out there. Uh, a little smaller than I originally thought, but a wood handle set, several knives in it. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Not exactly what I was expecting, but uh, a nice little set nonetheless. I'll wrap that back up. Um, I'm not sure what it is. Okay. That's a Bowie knife, it looks like. Nice case. Oh, not a bad looking knife. Get the plastic off it. Uh, and my spider on there. Uh, and it actually looks uh, kind of plasticky around that, but the blade still looks good. Uh, yeah, the, ha the handle is mostly plastic. Still a nice looking knife. caliber knife here. There's a leather case, a little cheaper. The best defender. <laughs> 440 stainless steel. Oh, this one's nice. Nice rubber handle on it, good grip. It's actually metal, 440 stainless steel. Uh, that's not a bad knife at all. Like I said, the grip is really nice on it, good rubber. And we got another one. Let's see what it looks like. Case. It looks like another plastic handle though. I've got a nice, very sharp saw serration on the end. Good steel, sharp blade. Even has a compass in the handle. Uh, despite being a plastic handle, it's got a good grip on it. Feels nice. Nice little blade. Let's see what we got here. Table. 
Okay. This is a display set. Comes with the display stand. Good hardwood. Of course. Have I gone up it out everywhere? But it is a plastic handle. But uh, and you can see it on camera. Showing me a nice little eagle American flag design. Nice little showpiece put up on a shelf. Put the cover back on her, keep the keep the design nice and we have the right here. Overall length is supposed to be 13.5. Stainless steel blade. We got a larger selection of big knives in. Nice little case there. Oh, I do like this one. Good solid feel, good rubber handle. It won't slide, good guard. Very good metal. I like that one a lot. It's a very good knife. Okay, this is an interesting piece. Little moon, crescent moon shaped blade. This bone handle, full tang, very sharp. Actually, sharp on both sides. It's dull here, but very sharp on the inside as well as the outside. Solid metal piece. And it comes with a nice, well made leather case. That is an interesting piece. Now I know I'm not pronouncing this correctly. Uh, Kubaton, uh, Kubaton. I, I had a customer ask me to order one of these. Uh, it's basically the uh, keychain self-defense weapon. Um, let's see if I can open it up here. Uh, not very familiar with them myself. Um, just basically a piece of metal, uh, hook it up to your keychain. I imagine it wouldn't feel too good if you slapped somebody with it pretty good or jabbed them. Uh, but uh, they asked me to order one, so I did. I mean, it's a solid piece of metal, and uh, I mean, it could be used pretty well for self defense if necessary, which that's what it's for. But I'm not very familiar with them myself. Um, although I do try and keep my customers happy, so if they ask me to order something, of course I try and get them what they want. Uh, this is a little hideaway piece. That is a dual throwing knife set. Uh, we sold quite a few of these. Uh, there's a, a double dagger set. You, wear the, uh, you can wear this long ways across your belt. So the smaller your back or uh, is usually where people will uh, carry these uh, e easily concealed. They both have two rubber handle double sided knives uh, which are designed for throwing but very good at just poking somebody. A uh, good uh, hideaway knife, uh, very popular. I said this is a very large order and I may have to split this video up. Matter of fact, I'll do the large stuff on one and then we'll go back with the, the smaller uh, pocket knives because I honestly have no idea what the pocket knives are. They are all uh, um, a mystery. Uh, basically, it would pay a certain amount per pocket knife and they send us what an assortment of their choosing. Uh, it's a double-edged sword. We can get the pocket knives for cheaper, therefore we can order more of them, but they're random, so we don't know what's coming in. All we know is they are all spring-assisted, easy-to-open knives, uh, but we'll get to that in the next video. This is a very nice knife here. Double-blade, uh, double wood handle. It is a squared-off wood handle, but a full-tang blade. Uh, 
nice brass fitting. Some people like the square handles. I'm never, I was never that popular. Although these, this fits pretty well in my hand. Feels comfortable. Comes with a nice leather sheath. And the sheath itself is very, uh, very well put together. So always a plus when you get a nice sheath to go with. Fits in pretty good. Nice little knife. Another small dragon. Uh, there we go. Uh, dra black dragon. Uh, we sold a few of these. Not really impressed with them. Although people love the the type of knife that it is. Uh, I have acquired better ones. This is again, this is the low end version of it. Nice old leather sheath, pretty good sharp little blade. Well, I mean, it's a sturdy piece, but it's just a miniature. Very popular with the younger generation. Um, like I said, I, I've not, ha I've never been impressed with it, but it is a popular seller, so I keep ordering. Okay, we've got two neck knives here, which are also very popular sellers. Uh, this particular style and brand, I've ordered quite a few times uh, and sell them almost as fast as I can get them in. Uh, it, we've got two different ones here. This was the just the solid black, nice uh, plastic case. Good grip, very nice self-defense knife. Uh, like I said, it's a very popular piece. Easily concealed, put it around your neck, hang it down. Nobody knows you have it on until you need it, uh, which is what makes it so popular. Uh, the design of the blade, or the talon-like blade, is also very popular as well. This one is the rainbow colored which is very popular yeah. nice hard plastic uh, for the grip gives you a good grip again but a very nice self-defense weapon easily concealable just hanging around your neck guaranteed to make somebody get away from you very quickly all right, we're getting rid of the small stuff here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. This is a box of uh, six sharpening stones. We sell quite a few of these. Uh, people like to keep their knives sharp. Uh, we can give them away a few to their friends. Uh, only uh, five. Uh, they go for around five dollars a piece. Useful item to have. Okay, this is the military replica here of, yeah, nice little K-bar, nice hard plastic case, metal trimming, good strap, bell loop, this is a very nice piece, very solid. It is a replica, but it's a very well-made replica. Very solid piece of metal. Uh, done in the same fashion as the actual military piece. Uh, very impressed with that. Um, very happy with this piece. And I know a particular gentleman that is gonna be very happy this came in. All right, now we're getting to the big stuff. Getting to the fun stuff. Oh, here we go. Um, I'm gonna have to take this one out of its case in here. Just so we can see it a little better. Everybody 
everybody knows what this is. We got uh, actually functional pipe. Very nice piece. Native American type um because I'm trying to name it is why I keep get it on my tongue. Um Tomahawk. Thank you. Uh I'm sure some might be very interested in having that. Ladies and gentlemen, we had an issue with the battery of our other camera, uh, so we had to switch to the phone. Uh, hopefully the video will still be just as good. Anyway, we're on the uh, double wall uh, mace, chain mace, uh, medieval weapon, used to be very popular back in the day, Morningstar, uh, and Morningstar was more of a one ball, but very interesting piece. Nice little piece to have and very effective. Uh, these are very solid pieces. So we'll set this back in this box. Oh, this is also a piece that I have seen before. Uh, I've actually sold a few uh, a few pieces like this. Very popular. Nice little showpiece. Dragon sword. The blade. Stainless steel. And here we go. This is a larger, larger piece. Good old fashioned. Battle Axe. <laughs> Very popular piece. I have not acquired one quite like this before. First time I'm seeing this particular piece in person. I've gotten similar ones of these, like these in, and uh, they're very popular. So I'm going to rest the tape off so we can get a better look at There we go, a nice leather wrap, good solid wood handle, metal, solid metal piece, is dulled out, factory, uh, factory edge, and metal all the way around, good solid wood handle, this is a very nice piece. I'm sure somebody will be very happy to have that. Back in. This is a popular piece that I've had many people ask for. for. Uh, I've sold a few of them. I'm trying to get it out without damaging the, damaging or scraping it up. This is a Viking sword. Vikings are very popular right now with the TV shows. They're go, uh, that are going on, so the Viking axes and swords are very popular these days. This is actually not at the top end uh, of uh, the swords. Um, this is a car carbon steel replica, um, which is why there's so much oil on it. But very nice, heavy steel, leather wrap, full metal. There are higher quality ones than this, the uh, Battle Ready. Uh, this one is not quite up to that, even though it is very well made. Very heavy, solid piece. Um, like I said, very popular these days. I'm going to slide this back over that to keep the blade from going bad. Uh, with carbon steel, you have to be careful because they will rust easier than a stainless steel. But they will sharpen 
a lot easier in holding this. Nice leather case. Very nice piece. Very impressed with that. Very happy with it. I'm sure somebody else will be just as happy with it. Okay, we've got two more swords left, ladies and gentlemen. And that will be the end of this video. I know y'all get tired of seeing me. I'm not very... Uh, not very good at this. <laughs> do apologize. There we go. That's a nice sword. Smaller sword. Uh, has the skull on the hilt. Also has a... Uh, looks like another skull type on the... But a uh, nice leather wrap. Good design on the blade. Actually has a pretty decent edge to it. One more that is similar to that one. Fancy fighter sword. Both fancy uh, weapons. Uh, this one is very similar. Very similar to that. But it has a stone finished blade. I don't know if you can see that on camera. A nice stone finished design on it. Uh, it's got the, the skull and the ha hands with the skull on the end. All metal, leather grip. Actually, a very nice piece. Pretty sturdy, too. It is a stainless steel. I believe that's uh, going to be all for this video. Uh, that's all the big pieces. Again, we have a whole lot of pocket knives that are an assortment that I have no idea what's in there. I'm going to do those separately just because they're a surprise to me. Um, I appreciate y'all watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment. Uh, like, subscribe. If you're interested in any of these pieces, please contact us. All the information is at the bottom of the screen under the video. Uh, we'll be happy to send you any one of these. So uh, if you like something, please contact us and we'll be happy to get it to you.